hello everyone. Today we've got a box. Hopefully I've got my address somewhere. We've got a box. We're gonna go ahead and open it and then I'll let you know what is inside in a second. This is very hot. All right. No need for a knife. We've got this. Maybe not. Almost. Ah, I can't do this. Embarrassing yourself. So we've got a box and some wrapping, some more wrapping, and something quite heavy, about 10 pounds approximately. Not a giant fishing reel. All right, so this is an alternator for our wake surf boat. My legs are still burning. So today's video, I'm gonna go try and replace this in our boat. Yeah, I'll just drive over there and then I'll kind of tell you what's going on when we get there. We're doing something different today, but I still wanna say good morning, afternoon, evening, or night, and I hope you are having a great day. The truck started because it's like 93 degrees and I want it to cool down just a little bit before I get in. I'm gonna go get in now and we're gonna drive like 10 -ish minutes over to the marina. And it's a good thing I filmed this because I almost would've just left without tools and I gotta grab some of those real quick. So let's go see what we need. All right, so we're definitely gonna need some of these. These are the metric units. Probably gonna need some of these. Take a right set. Actually, I'm gonna take the other set, take this one. And then might need some needle nose and a screwdriver and a flat tip and some pliers. So let's go with that and hope for the best because I really don't know what I'm doing. Not drop this. Shouldn't have shut the door. Ninety-three degrees. That would be why we have to get our boat alternator fixed so we can get out on the water and not be so hot. All right, so we are here. We're gonna take our stuff down and then I will kind of try my best to walk through the process of changing out an alternator. I haven't seen any videos. That's why I wanted to put one up. So this is kind of like a more serious video. You can just like skip it if you're not interested in mechanics or anything so there's no videos so i want to put one up but i might not be the best person to watch if you're like there's probably a lot of people that know more than i do but i'm going to try and walk you through the process anyway so yeah we gotta go walk out to the boat so, right. yeah. so we will start by uncovering the boat that just kind of makes things easier for you too if you know what i mean I'm going to start by turning off the electrical stuff, so not power going to it while I am. I don't know if it matters, but I'm going to go ahead and do it to be safe. Turn all the power off before I start anything. So on our boat, the batteries are under this side, on the port side. And then in the back, it's really dark. Maybe this will focus, maybe not. It will not. Okay, but there's a switch back there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and hope it's the right one. And then we'll go to the back of the boat where the alternator should be. So according to my calculations, I should turn all power from the batteries off. There should be no electricity running back to the alternator. So we're on the starboard side and there is a panel here on the side that I'm going to remove, uh, which will make it easier because the alternator is kind of like on the bottom, closer to the bottom of the hole. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do that so I can get down there and then I'll show you where it's located. All right, so here's our engine compartment. This is like an exhaust pipe. And then come over here on the side. It's really dark, I gotta fix that. This is the alternator where that run red wire is running into. This is that exhaust pipe I was showing you a second ago. So this right here is probably gonna be my biggest problem uh, sitting in my way. We have to unattach that red wire positive and that black one is negative and then there's a third one down there which I honestly don't know what it does but I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. Then we've got the belt we got to take off and there's a little track uh, with that bottom bolt down there. I should be able to loosen that and then it should slide back and we should be able to take it, the belt off and hopefully get it out okay and then we can just do the opposite reverse and put the new one back on. Okay so it's kind of dark. Go ahead and get... I take this off. I wonder what this is for. That's rusty. I want to breathe that rust. Breathe it. It was floating through the air. Okay. There's those. And then there's this. Okay, so I'm looking at the new one in this. This is kind of how it sits. If you're looking at it from the back, which is not possible to do. Uh, this is the negative, this is the positive, and then this is 
the S, which is something. I'm gonna, I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, so this is the bolt for the negative. I'm gonna figure out how to unplug that bottom thing that I don't know about. Okay, this is the bottom thing. It's probably uh, something that runs to the voltmeter to tell the computer how many volts there is. I gotta take the positive and negative terminals off. Should be a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter socket. There's no flowing electrons. Okay, first bolt is off. Remove our negative. Move that out of the way. Maybe. Okay, now remove the positive. So they're both 10 millimeters on this one for both terminals. Kinda hard to reach. Okay, so we got both uh, battery terminals unconnected and the third wire is also off. So now there's just two bolts. Um, the one should loosen up on that little track and should swing it over so we can take the belt off. And my only worry right now is that I can't get it tight enough and the belt will slip. But we're going to try our best to get it back on tight. And yeah, I guess you'll see how that goes. Okay, I think that's a hex screw. So, so far we didn't need anything for the third wire and then it was two... Uh, 10 millimeter bolts for the two terminals. This I think is a hex screw. I'm not sure what size it is unfortunately hard to reach. By the way, this is a, that's a six I think, six millimeter socket. Not socket, hex screw. And there goes my hex screw. All right, so I've got it loose enough now, not all the way off, but I can go ahead and take the belt. will come off. So we can let that hang out of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and take these bolts all the way out the rest of the way. The top one is actually a 15 millimeter socket. The bottom one is the, uh, I guess that's the Allen wrench, the hex screw. It's like 10 pounds and it's kind of awkward, so hopefully I can hold it, but we should be able to get it out now. All right, got the bottom screw out finally. Now I just gotta take the top one out with the 15 millimeter socket and then it should be good. So we got the old one out. It took a long time actually because there's like a little uh, collar slash um, spacer slash insert that was in there. I had a really hard time getting that out so it took a lot of like wiggling and I was kind of banging on it to get it out. But um, now we got to try and get that insert out. Now that we've got this block out of the way we should be able to knock the insert out hopefully. And then we can get the new one back up in there and just attach it and it should be a lot easier than getting this out. The new one slid right in. Thank goodness. Now I gotta get it. Top bolt I'm putting in now. And then the bottom one I gotta get back in the track. And then slide the belt on and then slide it over as far as I can. Tighten it up as tight as I can so the belt does not slip. And then we should be good. Just put the wires back on. Terminals and that should be it. Alright, so I've got the bolts back in. It was way quicker than taking it off. Because I did not have whatever piece is the proper one to remove the insert. Uh, but we should be good to go now. I got the bite, the belt really tight. This is unscrewed down there. I got the track back in place and I got the bottom bolt in. And this top bolt and then just tighten them up as tight as I possibly could. And then we've got the negative, positive, and the third wire that we got to put back on. Yeah, that should be about it. Alright, so... Finally done. It took me like an hour to get the old one off because I didn't have anything to get the old insert out, which I think it's just because it's old and it's like stuck in there. It wouldn't come out like it's supposed to. So I ended up getting the old one out finally and then the new one just slid right back in and I was able to get everything bolted back and wired up really easily. And I made sure to put the uh, rubber, hang on, get a light, made sure to put the rubber back over the terminals and we should be good to go now. I unfortunately forgot to bring the boat key so I can't start it up and check to see the voltage and uh, see how the belt, make sure it's tight enough. But um, we'll probably be out here tomorrow or I'll come start it up or something and make sure that it's working right. Now I'm just going to go turn all the electrical stuff back on just with the main switch. Then it should be fine and we're done. I gotta pick up all our tools and then we're gonna head back home. If you have not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on push notifications if you have not done so. Leave a comment below, let me know any other video ideas or um, any questions, comments, anything else. Share. 
share the video if you uh, if you know anyone that needs to replace an alternator on a boat, which you probably don't. But go watch some of my other videos and share some of those. All right, the lighting's better this way. I'm not sure why I didn't fix that a long time ago. Bye.